right now, you, you choreographed the Wednesday dance that went viral, right? Yes, I did. Can you show me real quick? You was just like, you was like, you was like. Jenna Ortega in real life is so rude. Over 10 million people followed the show's lead actress, Jenna Ortega, on Instagram in the first week after its launch, so there's no doubt that fans are excited about her. She has even achieved widespread popularity on TikTok thanks to the now iconic dance that her character does, which has sparked a new competition. Therefore, continue watching to learn all the things that you need to know about Jenna, the actress that plays the gothic student at Nevermore Academy, who may be fiery at times, and to see whether her rude reputation holds true to reality. Jenna, the young drama queen. There is a lot of curiosity among the audience concerning the actress' ethnic background. In point of fact, the question of whether or not Jenna is a Filipino occupies the number one spot on Google search results in pages in the Philippines. In reality, she is of Hispanic descent and has ancestry from both Mexico and Puerto Rico. Ortega was the fifth of six children and was born on September 27, 2002 in the city of La Quinta in the state of California. She has a height of five feet, one inch tall, yet her list of accomplishments keeps becoming longer and longer, despite the fact that she has already spent more than half of her life working in the profession. When she was just six years old, she had her initial passion for performing on stage. Her mother bought her a book on theatrical monologues to read and study, in spite of the fact that her parents had first opposed the idea. Her mother took a video of one of Jenna's performances and uploaded it to Facebook with the comment, Jenna, my drama queen. In later years, Jenna came to the attention of a friend of her mother's who was acquainted with a casting director. According to what they say, the rest is history. When she was 10 years old, she made her professional acting debut in the film Afterwards, which starred Marsha Harden. This was the beginning of her acting career. Since then, she has appeared in a number of films and television programs portraying recognizable characters such as the younger version of Jane in the show Jane the Virgin, Lorraine in the horror movie X, and Ellie in the second season of the psychological thriller series, You. Jenna also had roles in Days of Our Lives, Rob, Iron Man 3, Disney's Stuck in the Middle, and Yes Day on Netflix. Additionally, she provided one of the primary voices for the animated picture Elena of Avalor, which was produced by Disney. And now we get to the more important question. Despite all of her success, is she rude in real life? And if she is, what causes her rudeness? Fans have claimed all over the internet that they have seen her being rude to certain individuals on various occasions. Nonetheless, there is no actual video evidence that she has been rude as of this moment. Perhaps the magnitude of her triumph has been too much for her to handle, and as a result, she has behaved rude on some of the occasions in her life. But nobody can say for sure. She is almost Wednesday Adams in real life. Jenna said in one of her interviews that during her whole childhood, she was most often compared to Wednesday Adams mostly because of the similarities between their senses of style. She used to have a strong preference for black and white, button-ups, and white-colored shirts when she was younger. There are times when I have to force myself to put on a color, she said. Because of the manner in which she interacts, it is also quite possible that she is related to the character. Because I have a tendency to be really unexciting and uninteresting, she added. In an interview with Wired, it was mentioned that there is another connection to Wednesday. She described herself as a weirdo and stated that when she was younger, she used to do an autopsy on tiny animals. Jenna has been linked to actors and singers. The actress does not speak much about her romantic life or her personal life in general. Despite this, Jenna has also been connected to a few well-known actors and actresses in Hollywood. Following her involvement in the music video for Jacob Sartorius' song Chapstick, in which the two of them had a kiss, Rumors began to circulate in 2017 that Jenna was dating the musician Jacob Sartorius. But it wasn't until months later that it came to light that he was dating Millie Bobby Brown, who stars in the Netflix series Stranger Things. The couple split up later in 2018. After that, one year later, there were rumors that Jenna was dating actor Asher Angel. The two were seen attending fashion shows and other events together, including the Just Herod Halloween party, at which they attended dressed as Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson, their on-screen coupling at the time. Despite this, none of them ever commented on the rumor. Jenna is a youth advocate. In addition to her work as an actress, Jenna is an ally to the LGBTQ community as well as a supporter of women's and minority rights. In an interview with Forbes, she said that one of her goals is to inspire young people and women to be vocal about the things in which they believe. There is no justification for being silent. It makes no difference whether you have five followers or a million followers. 
She emphasized the significance of each and every opinion. She is a strong advocate for increasing people's knowledge about AIDS. During her address at WE Day in 2017, Janet inspired younger generations to become active in charitable causes and increase their knowledge of HIV AIDS. I want to contribute to the fight against the stigma that surrounds AIDS and get more people talking about the disease. Bring things up to par. It is a sickness that strikes each and every one of us, she added. She is not ashamed to admit that she is an oddball. In an interview with The Face, Ortega, who is quickly being known as the future queen of horror, said that she was attracted to darker projects that are a little off-putting, things that the closer you look actually aren't so lovely. She continued by saying, I enjoy things that are unsettling. In addition, Ortega participated in autocomplete interview series in which she revealed that she describes herself as a weirdo. When asked about her parts in horror movies, Ortega has said that she gets the impression that such projects simply find her. She has remarked something along the lines of, There's some invisible rope that's connected to serial murderers, monsters, animals, and myself. Regardless of the location, she added. She rose to fame as a young actress on the Disney Channel. Do not fall into the trap of assuming that Ortega is a newcomer to the Hollywood business, only though she has secured multiple significant assignments because of 2022. In point of fact, she has been employed for well over 50% of her whole life. The Face said that one of her first parts was in the film Insidious, Chapter 2, as a teenager, which she played in 2013. Her breakthrough came when she was cast in a part on the television show Jane the Virgin. According to the same interview, Ortega began performing the role of a younger version of Jane when she was only 11 years old. Since 2016, she has also gone on to appear in a total of 57 episodes of the popular show Stuck in the Middle, which airs on Disney Channel. Her parents are of Mexican and Puerto Rican origin, and Ortega revealed to The Face that her parents had been her strongest supporters on the hard road to celebrity. She said, A lot went into it. My parents sacrificed a lot. Wednesday's producers were really thrilled by her performance. According to TV Line, the writers of the Netflix spin-off Al Goff and Miles Millar said that Ortega gave them the impression of being an old soul, which was one of the reasons why they put her in the part. She really worked on the non-blinking. She really worked on how she was going to deliver the lines, Goff said to the interviewer about Ortega's performance as the deadpan Wednesday. She really inhabited the role. Goff said that Ortega was 95% of the show, and that her energy and intellect had helped her earn the role, which the team recorded over the course of eight months in Romania. And that's it. If you believe that Jenna Ortega is rude in real life, please let us know in the comment section below. And if your response is yes, please explain why you hold that belief. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the next video.